Well, my dear, this is my last video on the topic of errors and numericals. My dear, from tomorrow, I'll start uploading the NCRT numericals from back exercise every day 10, 5, 5 6, 10 numericals. And please, you all practice and looking. This is my all measurement chapter is over. Earlier, the physical world was over. From tomorrow, uh, uh, there we start with the topic so called motion in a straight line. My dear, this is I have taken the question from NCRT, little complex because with uh, complex in sense of word relations, word manipulations. So try to understand that this is also the way of asking the question. The period of oscillation of simple pendulum, everybody know period denoted by capital T. So capital T and the formula they have mentioned because you remember this formula we have done in dimension establishing the relations also. Time period length gravity was given and we established the relation we got 2 pi under root L by G very first numerical on dimensions. But here we are not doing dimensions relation establishment. So we are calculating error my dear in quantity. So the formula is already given. If it is not given please learn also the time period of pendulum is given by formula 2 pi under root L by G. Major value of length is 20 centimeter. Try to understand. Here the major value of length is given so much. That is the true value of length. The word measured value they said. But my dear that is a true value of length they have given already. And they said known to 1 millimeter accuracy. Known to 1 millimeter accuracy means it is known only by 0.1 centimeter difference. That is that 0.1 1 millimeter is the least count error. I mean to say that it is measured by that instrument. Try to understand. It is measured. This length is measured by that instrument which has a least count of 1 millimeter. And least count of 1 millimeter means least count error. We have done. Least count error. What is least count error? Sir, if your least count of instrument is 0 0.1 here. If the least count of the instrument is zero point one, what it mean? That instrument can measure only up to one digit after decimal. This instrument cannot measure the second digit. Neither less than this nor more than this. So every time it affects my result by 0.1. Here I will not get 0.5. Uh, sorry, 0.15. After 0.1 I will get 0.2. Again the result will be affected by 0.1. After 0.2 I will get 0.3. Again, the result will be affected by 0.1. Try to understand that. But the least value this instrument can measure is 0 0.1. Least value. I hope it is clear, my dear. Am I clear? So if, if anybody will tell me, can you measure with this instrument 0 0.25? If the question is, can you measure with this instrument, the least count of the instrument is 0 0.1. Centimeter. Can you measure with this instrument 0 0.25? No, sir. It cannot measure the second digit. It cannot measure the second digit. It means this length is measured by that instrument which can measure only one digit after the decimal. It is measured by that instrument which measure one digit after the decimal. That is known to 1 millimeter accuracy. So here my dear, what is my meaning of this? That true value of length is 20 centimeter and the error in length, the minimum error or the max error in length is of 1 millimeter. Is of 1 millimeter. Sir, how you come to know it is the maximum error in that? Because least count of the instrument is 0.1. So the least count error is a kind of an error, my dear, which is occurred due to the least count of instrument. Okay, so this is one millimeter accuracy. This language is representing the error in length. 
and how much error in lens sir 1 mm error there is a problem of because accuracy is what close to true value accuracy is close to true value but he said known to 1 mm accuracy that is means it is it is away from true value it is it is ahead it is beyond before true value true value or away from true value by 1 mm so that 1 mm is the error in the measurement it was close to true value is the accuracy but he said known to 1 mm accuracy matlab it is 1 mm less or more 1 mm less or more by the actual reading am i clear and that become less by 1 mm or more by 1 mm is the error because i told you there are two kind of people in society one major more than the true value one major less than the true value but how much more and less is 1 mm here known to 1 mm accuracy so that length, error 1 mm is the error in length my dear take care this is also the language of the question and this 1 mm accuracy is also called so sir this is least count error it means that the instrument ka least count 1 mm everybody know 1 mm is 0.1 cm so if length is given in cm after decimal they have put one digit that is 0 the writing 0 means there is one digit is permissible after decimal writing 0 here after that because they can write 20 also na? but they write 20.0 why because they are giving you an idea that by decimal ke baad you can write one digit more because the least count of your instrument is 0.1 cm that is our instrument can measure one digit after the decimal and therefore Chavesa, this instrument ka problem here ki it cannot measure the second digit after 0.1 it cannot measure 0.11 0.11 cannot be measured by this 0.12 cannot measure by this because least count of the instrument can measure only one digit after the decimal and that is one millimeter accuracy that is error in the length whenever whenever there is an error occurred in length is is occurred by one millimeter that is that is uh, that is 0.1 centimeter there is a problem with accuracy by 0.1 centimeter this is the language and accuracy was close to true value okay now and time for 100 oscillation of pendulum is 90 seconds 100 oscillation here yeah, this is nothing meaning it's all confusing languages to make you confuse number of oscillation i said number is a error less 100 oscillation 12 oscillation accordingly the time will change so here 100 oscillation is a number sir it is it don't carry any error error is there in the measurement of quantities not in doing oscillations in that number okay the next is of oscillation is 90 second time is given my dear and that is true value of time is given 90 second that is true value of time this is true value of length by wristwatch of one second oh god this 90 second is measured that time is measured by a wristwatch which you are taking you are having in our hand and the least count of that watch is one second wristwatch is of one second my dear Yes, least count of the watch is one second. After 0, it, 12, it is, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You cannot say 0.5 in between. Can your wristwatch measure 1.5 second? No. If the wristwatch has the least count, if it's not a digital clock. It's not digital clock. It is a wristwatch, my dear. If it is a wristwatch, digital clock, sir, it can measure point. Because digital clock can have a least count of measuring one digit, two digit after decimal. But my dear wristwatch has a least count of minimum one second only. 
that is of in wrist watch after 1 second there is next number is 2 second next number is 3 second you cannot get 2.5 second in wrist watch can you get in wall clock the 2.5 second can you get 2.5 second in wall clock no i hope it is clear my dear so please take care of all this what i am saying please take care of all this what i am saying because this is all very important the uh, in my in my lecture also i told you all this about it that how to uh, how the list count is is make a sense in the topic my dear because list count is such a important concept it help us to understand about error because that is called list count error so my dear if they said ki wrist watch is 1 second that is why your time is measured at 90 second if it is 1.1 second is the list count of the wrist watch aisa hota nahi hai then it can be a 90.1 second also given in the in the question 90.5 second 90.6 second 90.8 second 90.9 second because your wrist watch has a list count to measure capability of measuring one more digit that is one digit after decimal but here my dear it is one second what is the meaning of this that after one second it will measure two second three second four second five second but it cannot measure 1.1 second this watch cannot measure 1.1 second this watch cannot measure 1.2 second because least it measure is one second so next number will be what two second again the difference is of 1 second next number is of 3 second so least it can measure my dear 1 second am i clear so uh, uh, if we measure 1 so next measurement will be what sir it is 2 because 1 second it measuring least i hope it is clear my dear so here this is delta t that is error in time is given as 1 second that is error in time so these are the two errors my dear that is called least count errors so please try to understand that sometime they mention the error now i have done three different types of question one question i have done my dear if you see my entire video one question i have done with the type where one question i have done with the type my dear where uh, the things are like this v is equal to the things are like this this is v is equal to 40 plus minus 0.3 like this or i is equal to 10 plus minus 0.5 this is a kind of kind of a question voltage and error appear where 40 is the true value and this is error value in voltage this is a true value of current and this is the error value of current am i clear one type of numerical is like this where the true value is this and error value is this one kind of a numerical my dear where percentage error is already given 2% is the error in percentage error in mass 2% percentage error in in speed 3% so what is percentage error in error in error in kinetic energy like this questions where directly the percentage error is given we are substituting the percentage error formula and get the answer and now this is a kind of a question my dear where they have given the understanding of least count errors so there are the sums my dear where we have to understand what is the least count and that become a error in that quantity so here the least count of wrist watch is given as measured by wrist watch of 1 second matlab the least count of that watch by this 90 second answer right is has a least count of 1 second and that become error in time similarly this length is measured by a least count of that instrument which has 1 mm ye yeah, aise instrument se length measure kiya hai pendulum ka jo jiska least count 1 mm am i clear and that is scale our compass scale our compass scale how in measuring least count you all know i hope sir between 1 and 10 you should get take out your compass and you can measure the least count between 1 to 10 how many lines so there are 10 lines so what is the cost of one line that is the least value measured by that scale so least value measured by the scale is 0.1 cm because 1 to 10 lines take out your compass mean meter scale and see it 1 to 10 there are 10 divisions so 10 division is equal to uh, uh, say 1 cm 
10 divisions equal to 1 centimeter. So 1 division is what? 1 by 10? That is 0 0.1 centimeter is the least count. 0 0.1 minimal. Pahela ek division aapka scale ka measure 0 0.1. That is called least value measured by scale. I hope it is clear. So least value measured by this scale was 0 0.1 centimeter and therefore the length error become that least count error. And that become error in length. Famous with least count error. Similarly, the, oh, this 90 second is measured by a watch of least count as 1 second and that, that, that least count of that watch become error in time because they are famous with the term called least count errors. I hope it is clear. Right? So now let's go for the calculation. They asked to measure the acceleration due to gravity. No doubt we have to do it in the terms of percentage error only. But first try to understand how the numericals are given. So now here T is equal to 2 by under root L by G. So what is the answer? Therefore, I uh, will just go for it. On squaring, on squaring, this is my dear T square is equal to 4 pi square L by G. Because square root and all should be avoided whenever the error sums are there. Always go for square of it. Now you must be knowing that we are not finding error in time because error in time is one second already given, error in length is already given. We have to find error in gravity, acceleration due to gravity. So now my dear, therefore this is g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square. Since 4 pi square is a number, is a number and is errorless. quantity because error is there in the quantity mind. So now my dear here, this is what is the answer here? This is error in G upon G that is relative error my dear into 100 percent that is percentage error in G is equal to this is my dear error in L delta L upon L into 100 percent plus because it is division but still we have to take plus and this is power so that power will get multiplied 2 into delta t by t into 100 percent by using formula. I hope because now this is fourth fifth question my dear now you understood this is percentage error in g I hope it is this is percentage error in length this is percentage error in G is equal to percentage error in length entirely plus 2 into percentage error in time period. So therefore my dear percentage error in G I hope it is clear, Bache. delta L by L, delta L is given 0 0.1 in upon L that is 20 into 100% plus 2 into delta T is given 90 seconds, sorry, I am sorry, delta T, come on delta T is given as 1 second error in time divided by actual true value of time is given 90 into 100 percent. So now my dear percentage error in G is equal to this is 21 sir, this is 25 sir. So 0.1 into 5 percent will be 0 0.5 percent plus this 0 and this 0 cancel my dear. So, and this become 20 by 10 twos are 10 twos are 20 divided by 9 percent 10 twos are 20 divided by 9 so now my dear this will be this will be percentage error in G is equal to 0 0.5 percent plus here I will solve this so I will get 9 twos are 80 
I hope it is clear. And uh, this will be nine twos are eighteen, and uh, uh, point. And the next is nothing but uh, nine twos are eighteen again, and two two. Eighteen, eighteen, eighteen every time. Am I clear? Percentage. So this I will, if I add, answer will be two point seven two percentage. But I told you, my dear, looking to this all decimal ke baad, I wanted to keep only one digit. You can see. So on rounding off, my first video to one decimal on rounding off to one decimal place. The answer will become two point seven percent. I have rounded off. Why, bache? I have rounded off. So the last number is two. I try my level that that rule also. It is not five. Otherwise, this is two point eight. But last number is two. So I rounded off the to one decimal place by looking to the my data because least count is point one here. Here it is point one for length. Am I clear? And and for time also, my dear, after decimal there is say a one digit because it is one complete number. So minimum I can keep the answer after one digit after decimal only one digit. So that is rounding up to one decimal. I did two point seven percent. This is the final answer for percentage error in G. But my dear, if I round up to this number. Because science says that sir, here they have given the number twenty ninety. They have not given twenty point ninety point. They have given a clear number, a pure number, no decimal numbers. Twenty ninety true value. Look at their true value. True value is the main one. So true value is given for length is twenty. True value for uh, time period is given ninety. Can you see? That is given in a pure number, my dear. Not in fractional or not in digit, digits, uh, uh, decimals. I hope it is clear, my dear. So they are in a total number, twenty centimeter, ninety second. No decimal. So why don't we convert this by looking to true value? I hope it is converted. Two point seven percent is very close to three. So this is three percent. So why I have got this idea to convert in three per uh, in a number because my true value is given purely in number twenty ninety not twenty point not ninety point. So if true value is given this way, I thought to convert my decimal number close to the true value number that is two point seven percent is very close to three. It is not close to two. Because I have to come keep in number, so it is not close to two. Number means without decimal. So it is not close to two point seven, not close to two, but it is close to three. And I can take two point five, two point eight, because I said I have to keep it in a number two, three, four like this by looking to true value. Because in true value there is no decimal place numbers. Twenty point zero doesn't mean it is twenty only. It is twenty only. It is ninety. So there is no decimal uh, digit after the decimals points. Am I clear? So here also I thought to round off my percentage error of G in complete number. So 2.7 can be written as 3 percent. I hope it is. So here also I can uh, on rounding off to one decimal is okay. That is to round off. And then from here I came to know that although true value is is in number, so this 2.7 percent can be written as 3 percent. That's all. So my dear, this is the answer for this question to understand, and and by looking true value, please see round off your your uh, uh, final answers, your your real answers. My first video was showing this on my my true values of measurement was two point six three, two point five, two point nine eight, two point nine six, whatever in my first video, which I sent day before yesterday. In that my dear, I have given that my all values which are given. Right in question is measured two digits after the decimal. Two point six three. That is six three. 
2.56 that is 56 but they measured two digit after decimal and therefore you see that video i keep try to keep all my answers and the absolute error either my relative error either my uh, percentage error no dot percentage error when get multiply by 100 that two digit will come down to a number like this but my dear uh, uh, my relative error or absolute error or my uh, my my true value i all cap them in uh, two digits after the decimal see my that video similarly here my dear i saw the true value of length is 20 not 20 point if it is 20.12 i would have uh, got the answers for 0.12 i prefer this answer 2.72 i prefer this answer if it is given 20.12 if it is given 90.45 i prefer this answer i i would have keep the decimal ke baad mein two digits but here my dear they have got complete number there is no decimal points there is no digits after decimals in true value so here also i got while calculation i got 2.7 i got digit after decimal but then i tried and i rounded off and i rounded off it to 3 because i don't want any number after the decimal according to true value so i rounded off it to 3 because it is close to 3 instead of 2 2.7 so this is the way bachche you should click in your exam that we looking to your true value you should keep your answer so you are playing you should play with your answer please then okay. again so uh, one more uh, numerical i wanted to show you and then i will wind it up uh, this things the question is Let's go to the question. Now, my dear, look at these last two sums. If the relative error, uh, find the relative error and percentage error in Z one by one. Find the relative error, then multiply with hundred percent. That become percentage error in Z. If Z is equal to a power four, b power one by three, whole divided by c into d power three by two. This is the question, right? Z value is given. So now let's start. Number one, in terms of relative error in terms of relative error so when i find in terms of relative error my dear this is delta z by z is equal to you can see my dear delta z by z and then now here power 4 a power 4 so a may this is delta a by a But it is having power four, so this is four delta a by a. That is four into you can say. Plus the error in b is delta b by b. But it is power is one by three, my dear. You can see. So here it is one by three. Here it is yet multiply one by three into error in b. Plus this is c. In denominator, but what is denominator? Numerator division also it is plus. So it is error in C divided by C. That is error in C with the true value. Plus this is again multiply. First it was division, now it is multiplication of D, but with the power three by two. So it is three by two into error in D by D. This is my dear relative error. in z i hope it is clear everybody it is clear relative error in z that is 4 into error in a divided by true value plus 1 by 3 into error in b divided by b that is true value plus because it is in denominator or numerator multiplication or division it is again plus c there is no power our power is having 1 so this is 1 into Because power is having one, so it is one into but one we don't write. Error in C divided by true value plus three by two, three by two. Error in D divided by true value. That is relative error in Z. What is percentage error in Z? Percentage error in Z is nothing but delta Z by Z into hundred percent. Now delta Z by Z everybody know, so you can write this four delta A by A. 
प्लस वन बाय थ्री डेल्टा बी बाय बी प्लस डेल्टा सी बाय सी प्लस थ्री बाय टू डेल्टा डी बाय डी एवरीथिंग कुड टुगेदर मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड परसेंट कॉमनली मल्टीप्लाई और ईच यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट एवरी टर्म यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट एवरी टर्म यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट और कॉमन मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड परसेंट दैट्स आंसर सो दिस इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज एयर एंड दिस इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिलेटिव एयर आई होप इट इज सो Now here my dear x is equal to a square b q upon c under root d. If the percentage error in the measurement of a b c d are four percent, three percent, two percent, one percent, find the percentage error in x. That is percentage error in a is four percent, wherein b b is three percent, c is two percent, d is one percent. So what is percentage error in x? So folks, my dear, I will write x is equal to a square b q. This is C, and here I will write d power one by two. Please take care because it is root d. Only d is in root. C is not in root, so d power one by two because it is root d. So d power one by two. First step. Second step, my dear, percentage error in x. So here, my dear, I will write delta x by x into hundred percent. I hope it is clear. परसेंटेज एरर के टर्म में दैट इज रिलेटिव एरर मल्टीप्लाई बाय 100% डेल्टा x बाय x इज अ रिलेटिव एरर मल्टीप्लाई बाय 100% इज परसेंटेज एरर इज इक्वल टू 2 into दिस a स्क्वायर है ना दिस इज a स्क्वायर दिस इज b क्यू दिस इज c एंड दिस इज d पावर हाफ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड माय ओके So now this is uh, please take care while doing all this. So the power half under root d now. So this is two into delta a by a plus three into delta b by b. But two into delta a by a what? Hundred percent? Because I have written a percentage error. Plus three into this is actually the way you should write. Three into delta b by b into hundred percent because I am writing in terms of percentage error. This is in terms of relative error. This is in terms of percentage error. So I am writing percentage error in x is equal to two into percentage error in a plus three into percentage error in b. Am I clear? Here I can write. X is given by plus because it is in denominator. So what sir? Division by or multiplication? It is plus only. So plus error in C divided by C true value into hundred percent. There is no number get multiplied to this because it is having a power one. So here it is one get multiplied. If you wish, you can write here one into. But no need of writing even one. I hope it is clear because here is a power one. So if you write, if you wish, you can write one into, but one into is still the same. Plus, this is one by two percentage error in D. That is delta D by D into hundred percent. So now, my dear, this is percentage error. Percentage error. In x is equal to two into this entire thing is my dear percentage error in a plus this entire thing is my dear three into percentage error in b plus this entire thing is my dear. Percentage error in C plus one by two, and this entire thing is 
परसेंटेज एरर इन डी एन एयर परसेंटेज एरर इन सी बार इट इज वाई बट नो नीड ऑफ राइटिंग वाई सो ना एयर परसेंटेज एरर इन एक्स इज वॉट टू इन टू परसेंटेज एरर इन ए हाउ मच इज ए परसेंटेज गिवेन फोर परसेंट प्लस थ्री इन टू परसेंटेज एरर इन बी बी में हाउ मच थ्री परसेंट डोंट मिस एयर एंड एयर अदरवाइज यूर टोटल कैलकुलेशन इज रॉन्ग जो जिसका परसेंटेज इज गिवेन ए का परसेंटेज इज फोर एंड सब्सिट्यूट फॉर ए फोर डोंट सब टेक एनी वेयर ए टेक एन थ्री सी टेक एन एस टू सी टेक एन एस टू दैट इज राइट डी टेक एन एस वन दैट इज राइट so go follow order because it is a word respectively 3 into 3% plus c the c is here outside it is 1 because it having a power as 1 so here you can put 1 so this is 1 into so here it is also my dear if i can put here so it is plus 1 into so this is 1 into Percentage error in C. Percentage error in C is of two percent. So one into two percent plus one upon two because here it is half root B. So here root B is written as D by power half. So it is one upon two into percentage error in D. Percentage error in D is one percent. So now my dear, this is nothing but I hope you are getting me. This is nothing but the last step is. The last step is this is eight percent plus nine percent plus two percent plus zero point five percent because you can see one by two half into one is one by two one by two can be written as zero point five. I hope it is clear, my dear. So the answer for this question is coming as my dear. Uh, this is uh, eight nines. Ah, you can see. Eight nines are eight nines seventeen. Eight and nine seventeen and two nineteen and this is nineteen point five percent. That is percentage error in X. My dear, this numerical was given in your uh, uh, as a question. I have changed uh, accordingly. Uh, in the book, this question was interfere here. Here it was given two percent, and here it was given three percent. So here, where it was given two percent, for that is percentage error in B in the book is given as two percent, and I change the numerical. I have taken it as three percent. I can change the numerical. You also change the numerical and do the same thing. Change the values. Get the things. You will be practice. So I wanted to show you see by changing the uh, numerical. In the same numerical in your SL Arora book is having answer seventeen point five, and now I am getting nineteen point five. The reason is that for B they have they have given two percent, and for B I have taken three percent. For C they have given taken three percent, I have taken two percent. So just by interchanging the data, my answers changes, of course, because here now in according to book, if it is two percent, it is three into two, it becomes six. And if it is three percent, my dear, so it is one into three. It is three, so it is eight six fourteen and three seventeen and seventeen point five. <coughs> But I have changed the data here. I have taken B as a three percent, and the percentage error in C, the percentage error in C as a two percent. Where is your book? It was given percentage error in B is two percent. And percentage error in C is three percent. So uh, my request, why I did all this? My request is that instead, when you are looking the book examples, you change the data. You take my this example only. Take this kind of a numerical only, uh, the problem. But change the percentage error in every A, B, C, D, and see that what answer you are getting. So with this expect, my dear, with this hope, please let me know. So all the more numericals given in the book, you can uh, click it to my uh, WhatsApp. You can send it to my WhatsApp. Uh, uh, wonderful! I keep reminding and I keep uh, giving you a kind of appreciation also. 
the, uh, whenever the student sending it me my on WhatsApp, I am writing immediately. Very good, you have done a good job. So please keep practicing all these numericals. Thank you, you all, my dear. From tomorrow, I'll upload all NCRT numericals one by one from back exercise. This is also NCRTs I am doing. Some of them are NCRT. Some of them are. Uh, Delhi based questions, Delhi CBSC based questions. So, to, from tomorrow onward, I'll up, start uploading NCRT exercises questions. Okay. So, thank you all. Jai Hind, you all, my dear. God bless you.